All right, gonna do another video exposing another blasphemous Marian idolatrous false doctrine in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, this blasphemous book right here. I mean, pretty much all Catholic statements of faith are just full of just all kinds of just Marian idolatry. It's insane. But I'm gonna read one particular paragraph because Catholics love saying, oh, we don't worship Mary, but their own catechism in, in numerous places talks about, you know, Mary is who, is who makes you pure, Mary gives you eternal life. And in this uh, one part of the Catholic catechism, it says that devotion to Mary is intrinsic to Christian worship and saints fly in Mary for protection during danger and in need. But this is in paragraph number 971. It says, All generations will call me blessed. The church's devotion to the Blessed Virgin is intrinsic to Christian worship. The church rightly honors the Blessed Virgin with special devotion. From the most ancient times, the Blessed Virgin has been honored with the title Mother of God. To who is protection the faithful fly in in all their dangers and needs this very special devotion differs essentially from the adoration which is given to the incarnate word and equally to the father and the holy spirit and greatly fosters this adoration the liturgical feasts dedicated to the mother of god and mary in prayer such as the rosary are and quote epitome of the whole gospel unquote expresses devotion to the virgin mary now there is something true about that it says uh, from the most ancient times, the Blessed Virgin has been honored. They're right about that. It is true, the most ancient times, because this mother goddess worship of Catholicism goes all the way back to the ancient Queen of Heaven idolatry condemned in Jeremiah chapter, I believe it's 7 verse 18 and Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 17 down to verse 25. So they are right about that. You know, it does go back a very long way. The Roman Catholic Church is indeed a very old church. It goes back a long way. I mean, they say, oh, our church goes back to Jesus Christ. No, it actually goes back before. Jesus Christ even walked this earth. The Roman Catholic Church goes all the way back to mystery to the Babylonian uh, Empire, the Babylonian religion. I even argue it goes back all the way back to the Tower of Babel. Really, I mean this universal one world spirit. I mean, really, when you really get down to the facts of the matter, Roman Catholicism goes all the way back to Genesis chapter three, verse five, where Satan says, "Ye shall be as gods." So, Roman Catholicism is indeed a very old religion. It goes back a long way, but you know, obviously. Uh, because, but not, not how they mean it though, I'll put it that way, but, uh, but just take out that blasphemy, you know, oh, we rely on Mary for our protection. Well, that may be true of Roman Catholic pagans, but the Bible believing saint relies on Jehovah God for his protection and in times of need, not Mary. Psalms 18 verse two, good scripture on the matter. Psalms 18 verse two, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust my buckler, my buckler, sorry, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. It's uh, talking about God. I don't see Mary anywhere in this verse. Uh, 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse three, the God of my rock and him will I trust. He is my shield. And, sorry, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my savior, thou, get, thou savest me from violence. Again, where's Mary mentioned? Psalms 144, verse 1 to 2. Psalms 144, verse 1 to 2. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth, teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness, and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who, who subdueth my people under me. Again, it's the Lord. It's talking about God, not Mary. Psalms 46, verse 1. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. But I thought this, I thought this thing here said that Mary is who is who you, you lean on in trouble. But here it says, David saying God is who helps you in trouble. But of course, because Catholicism undermines the supremacy of the Godhead, you know, why it makes sense they believe that. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 19. And the verse on the matter. Jeremiah 16, uh, 19. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the, gen the Gentiles shall, shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things wherein there is no profit kind of like the roman catholics all their vain traditions yeah there's no profit it's just a bunch of vanity but it's it's god who is the strength and the fortress of the saint 
not marry. But you see with Roman Catholics in their marrying idolatry and this, this blasphemous, just total idolatry towards marrying the catechism, uh, they reject that. Because why? Well, Roman Catholicism is a totally man-centered, man-glorifying false religion. It lifts up fallible men, fallible sinful men, to the place of infallibility. And they steal the titles from God like Holy Father and Reverend and apply them to themselves like the popes and priests do. Because like, you know, Revelation 17 says, they're full of names of blasphemy. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy and an abomination to God, plain and simple. Why do I say that? Well, because again, Revelation 17 talks about Mystery Babylon being the mother of harlots and abominations. There go, you know, thereby, Roman Catholicism is an abomination to God, plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived by the Catholic cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Oh.